You already saw the title of the video? I'm gonna turn myself into the avatar. Let's get started. The first step is I need to find a good composition and a pose to put myself into. And creating a composition is one of the things that I find hardest in design, so I found this fan art of Aang flexing all four elements. And I really love his pose and kind of the surrounding elements of this piece, so I wanted to use it as a base for this composition. And to put myself into this composition, I needed to get myself into this pose and take some photos. And now I'm not really flexible, so don't compare me one to one with him. I actually stretched for like five minutes before this photo shoot just to make sure I could get my knees as low as possible, which is not very low. And with the help of my girlfriend, we took some different pictures and slightly different angles with some slight modifications to the pose. And ultimately, this is the final photo that we decided to go with. Let's take it into Photoshop. For the next stage of turning myself into the avatar, I'm going to have to make some major changes to myself. But good thing we have Photoshop. First thing I did was mask myself away from the background using the pen tool, and all I had to do now was to get rid of my hair. So I found this bald guy online and just put it on top of my head. I blended in his head with mine and made sure everything was color corrected to make it look like this polished scalp was mine. And you know, just to make things interesting because I doubt I'll even become close at all, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll go bald. So now that I have the right hairstyle to be an airbending monk, now I need the proper attire. In the show, Aang wears this like tan yellowish clothing with the red robe and belt over it. So to start, I need to change the color of my clothing by using a simple hue and saturation layer and painting over the areas that need it. And since my pants and sweater were different values, it took a little bit of messing around with brightnesses and settings to make sure that the colors matched. And now I am the fifth honorary wiggle. What the hell? And to get the robe that kind of goes over his shoulders, I found this full body 3D rendering of a robe and I just needed to mask out the area that I need and just throw it over the image. And after throwing it over the image, I simply used different warp and liquify techniques to morph it over my body. I now had the majority of the fit put together. He got that shit on though. For the belt, I found an image of a seatbelt and basically repeated the same steps I've been doing. And then I just added some shadows underneath the arm just to show that the arm is going over the belt. Now with my shiny head and monk clothing, I am a officially an airbender. For the airball that he's sitting on, I went to Envato Elements and I found this 3D energy sphere and sat that neatly underneath me. To make it seem more like air, I used the wind filter a couple times just to simulate movement within the sphere. And since the air is producing light, I added some highlights bouncing off underneath my legs and shining in behind my feet. Water. To make this shape from the original picture out of water, it was basically like putting together puzzle pieces of this different water image that I found. I used two images to simulate depth by having one be the top of the arrow going over and another one being behind of that water shooting up behind me. For the water in the back, I added a field blur to simulate depth perception from a camera to make it seem like the closer objects are what the camera is focusing on. And after a lot of warping and color correction, I had the water element complete. And I know fire is technically the last element that Aang learns in the show, but I worked on that next. And in this case, I basically did the same thing I did with water, but with a fire image that I found. So here's the process. For Earth, this was pretty much the same concept, but I used two different images this time, one being smaller rocks in the background and having fewer larger rocks on the top to make that arrow. This one was a little bit more difficult to mask out because I didn't want the rock to just randomly get cut off or be cut off like in the gap. So I was moving the picture around to find the right shape to cut it out to make it seem seamless. Seem seamless. I then added those images again, duplicating it behind to add a little bit of depth to show that it's actually 3D rocks and not just an image plastered over. And just to make the overall design a bit nicer, I added in some moss over the rocks to give a little bit of a green pop since green is the color you think of when you think of earthbenders. And after a few minor tweaks, all of the elements that I am bending in this image are complete. Dirt. 
This step is pretty straightforward. I basically just created an arrow shape, made it white, and then added a glow around it. And then I just repeated that step on each arm and then added a little bit of a shadow just to show that it's coming out from under my sleeve. At this point, I completely transformed myself into the avatar, but the design just needed a little bit more just to make it that extra step nicer. And I was able to achieve that through creating a background. Now that everything's complete, I just have a few final touches to really give it that extra step of design. I made it so that way the air ball is digging into the ground and have debris flying around from the impact. And then I altered the proportions a bit and added in some dust, some particles, and some embers just to give it a little bit more depth. And after adding in these final touches, I have officially created the transformation from Ben into the Avatar. If you like this style of design, go check out one of my previous videos where I turned a famous actor into a villain from One Piece. Or you can see me design in a different style and watch me redesign some US license plates. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And last video, I did end it a bit abruptly, so I wanted to apologize and give you all a proper goodbye.